Welcome to tonight's episode of Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel, and as always, I have a very special guest for you, two lovely ladies, Maria Roca and Astrid Benjamin of Combined Insurance. They'll be with us for the next 30 minutes, so stay with us. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Beyond Focus TV allows you to discuss contemporary topics affecting the Caribbean people on both the national and local level. The show features informed guests who offer insight, debate, and evaluate various issues. Beyond Focus TV builds on the station's mission to provide useful information to the Caribbean people in New York and abroad. Beyond Focus TV, where our viewing audience can get educated, informed, and empowered. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Fatal. Like I said, I have two very interesting ladies in the house tonight. We're going to learn about some insurance, and I've got two experts, Maria Roca and Astrid Benjamin of Combined Insurance here with us. So ladies, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank well, you. it's great to have you here, and as you know, insurance is so important. We're actually really going to dig deep in this tonight yeah. because a lot of people in our community, I feel like the black and Latino community, we don't, we've, we've progressed, but we're not there yet. Yes, I agree. We're not there yet. Mm -hmm. um, there's still a long way to go. We still have a lot of improving to do in terms of really getting our community up to speed in terms of just having that wealth that other communities have. And I think insurance is a great place to start mm -hmm. because it actually builds wealth. It does. It's, it helps the generation, it's something you could pass on. So kind of let's go straight into it. Um, you're actually Astrid's manager. So yes. it's a tag team here tonight. Yes. We have a team uh -huh. effort. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Maria, kind of talk about as a manager mm -hmm. and you're overseeing combined insurance and have a team with you. Mm -hmm. Describe your role. Um, well, I, I'm from the beginning to end. I, I actually um, recruit, hire, develop agents, right? Teach them um, how to go out to different communities, right? Speak about our product, speak about the company, okay? Train them throughout all the policies that we have and kind of educate different communities mm -hmm. so that we can open up the minds of the communities which we were trying to target for many years right now, you know? I've only been with Combine for three years. I'm a district manager with them. And I'm in the process of just trying to get to every community. Um, just to, like I said, speak to more people, hire more people, educate more people, and try to get them on board. So you guys are definitely multicultural. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's Absolutely. important, mm -hmm. and that's a that's a huge thing because some people, you know, when you're top insurance, you know, your combined is is in a sense competing with some of the big conglomerates right. that are also out there. Mm -hmm. But what are some of the key points that you could actually say are unique to combined? Well, for me is the the ability to transfer that uncertainty of injury or sickness you know if something is to happen where am i where's my income gonna come from mm -hmm. how am i gonna sustain myself and my family you know i may have a savings but you know that only goes but so far <laughs> it only goes but so far so having the the supplemental income which is what we mainly do um is very important and a lot of people are not aware of how it works and what it really does for their, their families. Wow, so supplemental income, that's actually something pretty imp important because that doesn't act as, so there's your regular term insurance, there's life insurance, traditional life insurance for when you pass away, but supplemental insurance is in the loss, in, in the event that you should become unemployed or ill. Well, not unemployed, disabled, disabled. injured or sick, you know, it, it helps to su uh, supplement your income, but you have to have it before the occurrence. Of course. Before the sickness or before the accident. So you have to have it when you don't need it in order to have it when you need it. I like that. <laughs> and that's actually a good way to think about it. Yes. Huh? Absolutely. You yeah. have to have it when you don't need it. In order so you'll to have, have it when you need when it. When you need yes, it. Yes, um, And that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It makes absolute sense. But what are some of the details of that? So. Kind of let's educate the people at home who may not, some people may not have ever even heard of supplemental mm -hmm. insurance. True. So, so as, as we know now, most people should be having health insurance in place, correct? Mm -hmm. So what the health insurance does is it covers you if, God forbid, you had to be in a hospital, right? Pays the doctors and the hospitals, okay? What well, our company does is it pays you, okay? The great thing about our policies is that it'll cover you for an accident, for a sickness, on and off the job. God forbid it was in, the, in a foreign country, mm -hmm. okay? And everything we do is tax-free benefits, 
so which is one of the best features of us okay we do operate more by word of mouth just like we were mentioning before we don't do the big advertising why because that then gets incorporated into the premium so we're more competitive mm -hmm. because of that but. okay so we're, we've been around for almost a hundred years now really okay, yes. yes the longest supplemental insurance company oh in gosh. the United States mm -hmm. so because of that like I said you know the best compliment in business is obviously a referral yes. okay and we work from referrals like I said word of mouth and for it to be around for a hundred years that alone should speak a little volume absolutely mm -hmm. and that's something that, like I'm not even going to say that, you know, it's in the top tier, but like you mm -hmm. said, it's because of the fact that you get to keep those dollars. You're not spending it. You don't have to worry about combined, basically taking half of your premiums and having to pay a big airtime. Yes. Correct. Yes. You're Correct. actually putting it into the resources mm -hmm. for your policy. Mm -hmm. So how does supplemental insurance work? Basically, so let's say you become ill, you no longer could work. Mm -hmm. That's when that would kick in? That's when that would kick in. That's what it does, you know. So let's say, for example, you're diagnosed with cancer. You know, it doesn't run in your family. Mm -hmm. You're not, you're not a smoker. But one day you wake up, something it went happens wrong. Happens all the time, right. unfortunately. Exactly. So, with all the things that you have to go through with being diagnosed and either getting a second opinion or deciding what treatment you're going to take, if you have that supplemental income, it gives you that financial freedom to do that. To still... To, yes, upon diagnosis, the policy pays out a lump sum, which gives you the freedom to either get a second opinion or decide what type of treatment you, you want to do, whether you want to do the chemo or the radiation or whether you want to seek alternative mm -hmm. uh, medicine. So you have these dollars that are being paid to you up front. Our policy pays 4000 on diagnose. That's the highest limit it will pay, depending on the product that the policy that mm -hmm. you choose. And then if you decide to go with the chemo or the radiation, then it pays you for every treatment, $600 per treatment, $600 every day you're in the hospital. So all this cash that is being paid directly to you, you're not going to worry about I'm not working, I'm home, I'm sick, there's no money coming in, mm -hmm. you know, so you could relax and allow the treatment to do what it has to do. And just and focus on getting better. Exactly. That is, that, that is the, the, the freedom that it gives you in the event that you're sick, that you don't have to worry about how am I going to maintain myself, my family, you know, the Absolutely. bills, the mortgage, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now, usually, how high of a rate, a monthly rate? Um, would something like that go for? Of course, it all depends on how much payout you're looking for. But well, what's a, a, a typical policy? Well, it depends, right? Because, I mean, we have policies that start at $15 a month, right? Mm -hmm. That's an accident policy. It pays you for any type of accident you've had. It's a per-incident policy. So, for instance, if you had an accident, God forbid, today, but you're still going back to work tomorrow, but you went to the ER, we're still <coughs> going to pay you because you went to the ER. Mm -hmm. Right? Because like I said, your, your health insurance pays the hospitals and the doctors. So just because you went to the ER, whether you go back to work or not, we're still going to pay you because you visit the ER. Mm -hmm. So those are, that's the less expensive policy we have, $15 a month. Then depending on if you get a you know married uh, policy, let's say um, you have a family one, so it increases a little bit. Most of our policies, once you sign up, the premiums don't go up anymore. They stay with you. Mm -hmm. And most of our policies... Um, anyone from the age of 18 to 75 could sign up for, and that goes from accident to uh, life insurance. Mm -hmm. That is really, really good. That's so much information. Mm -hmm. You know what? We'll take a quick break. Okay. We'll be right back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Stay with us. back you're watching beyond focus tv i'm lydia patel so ladies i'm reading an interesting piece of information here it says coverage equals confidence what is your take on that because you're in the business of life insurance so not just life insurance insurance as a whole mm -hmm. but that's something i think there's a lot of truth to that because mm -hmm. once you're covered i could feel good knowing that i don't have to think about that right. later on correct correct and, and 
let's take for instance for me, like you know, at a I get my my life insurance at a at a younger age, right? Um, and you really don't think about it. Like I had a, a son, so I figured I need to have something. God forbid something happens mm-hmm. to me. That whole time I felt so insecure about it, right? Once I got my coverage, I felt a little better about it because I felt like now I have something. Because you, there's one thing that people don't understand when, especially when you buy life insurance, you're not buying it for yourself. You're buying it for your family, right? If God mm-hmm. forbid something should happen to you tomorrow, which we never know, right? At the very least, I rest knowing yep. that my son's going to have something for himself. Whether it's for college, whether it's for burial expenses, whatever the case may be, at least I know I leave something behind for my family. Absolutely. Now, when you're reaching out to other communities and you work in a whole scope, because you, you did mention you're trying to reach other communities, mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. are some of the challenges that you're faced with in trying to really educate and open up doors for others who life insurance or insurance as a whole is still seen as a little bit of a back burner (laughs) oh my god that that you know it's just crazy when you try to talk to people about these things and the the first thing they would say is oh I have that already but do they really because the average person doesn't know what they have you Mm -hmm. know especially if they're employed they assume that the job covers them for accident sickness disability and so on. I mean, if they get injured on the job, yes, they may have some form of worker scam or disability, mm-hmm. right? Then you could also be working with a small business that doesn't have these things, you know. So in trying to educate them, one of the first things they would say is, I can't afford it. But you didn't even know, we didn't even get to the price. I'm just telling you how it operates and why you need it. Mm-hmm. You know, especially if you're the breadwinner of the home, if something is a harm to you, that bre- that that income goes away. You know, Very how true. do you supplement that? You know, how do you continue to take care of your family? You know, I mean, how many times are you gonna ask your sister or your friend for a loan? You know, and 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 being educated about it and having it is giving yourself that 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 confidence and that financial security in the event that something happens. That is yeah. very important, and that is mm-hmm. so true. Mm-hmm. Maria, as a manager, how do you prepare your agents to go out and be able to have the right tools to really move forward and really just bear education? Mm-hmm. I mean, we, as a company as a whole, we, we provide a lot of um, <laughs> tools to train. Um, you know, all of our agents, you know, we have to take exams to go um, to get their license first, right? Mm-hmm. They get sent to Chicago for a whole week so that they could... Um, pick up the training and show and and they kind of educate them how to introduce themselves into business business to business um, and make phone calls and stuff like that so what we do um, as a company we already provide that the initial training after that when they go out with me from their very first day I take them out we go canvassing we have home appointments um, and we do also one-on-one trainings where I'll teach them what they have to say how to close but more so how to open the client's mind because mm-hmm. that's the biggest challenge we have and I think that um, if we have more open-minded people, see what the problem is, I realize that most people don't think insurance is important until something happens. happens. Exactly. Right? Absolutely. So we try to open up the mind before it happens, right? We try to open up the mind before it happens. Some people, it soaks in, some people it doesn't, right? Mm-hmm. Some people is a little too late, they want to get it after, right? Mm-hmm. So what I try to do is that with all my agents, I've sat one-on-one, I've gone on with them one-on-one, there's a lot of motivation on a daily basis. Um, you know, the company also provides a lot of incentives for agents. Um, they provide us with marketing dollars as well, right? So that we can advertise ourselves, not so much the company, um, because we want them to know that we're, we want to be part of the community, right? Mm-hmm. We are a company. We're also, Chubb, Chubb Insurance is, is obviously our parent company, so we know we're big, okay? But we're not trying to act like a big company. We want to be on an individual, intimate basis so that we, you know that we know your needs and what we, how we can help you and your family. Mm-hmm. And that's important because, I mean, if you have marketing dollars, let's say you're trying to target the Russian community, you may have to spend so a little bit to get in those Russian mm-hmm. papers, mm-hmm. maybe get on the Russian right. radio, or right. even team up with somebody Correct. in that community mm-hmm. if you're going to try to infiltrate mm-hmm. in there. Mm-hmm. And there's churches, you know, those have all different times.